Hi, I'm at Yanga Station, which is was one of Australia's largest uh, cattle properties, and uh, this is actually the wool shed. I thought I'd take you through an Aussie wool shed. So let's go. It's uh, no longer operational, and we're the only ones here. But uh, a decade or two ago, it was actually converted into a national park. So this is where this is a, a part of the big uh, sheep um, a part of the station, and there's a couple of sheep down there if you can see them. And then they uh, herd the sheep through here, and then they actually uh, shepherd, separate them. They use this so well, they use this swing gate to actually um, sort them here as they come through. They got little tags on their ears, and they will uh, sort them. Here comes a sheep now. There's a sheep coming through. Come on, sheep. <laughs> Come on, sheep. Is it a good sheep or a bad sheep? <laughs> Fail. <laughs> here, here comes the other sheep. Here comes the other sheep. Come on, sheep. Come on, sheep. Yeah, that's a bad sheep too. Off he goes. And so they would sort them. And this is the uh, outside pen. But let's go have a look at this enormous... Aussie wool shed. It's absolutely enormous. Sorry if the audio is a little bit, bit of wind noise here maybe, but uh, yeah, it was last um, used in 2005. So here it is. And oh yeah, smell that. Smell that guys. Smells like a wool shed, doesn't it? And <laughs> yeah, this thing's absolutely enormous. Uh, it's probably in the order of 100 meters long at least and uh, they would sort the sheep this is all built up this is a this floor is elevated we'll actually uh, should see some up ahead where the floorboards have come out but uh, this was where they would um, herd all the sheep in ready for shearing and these are various pens so they'd sort them all out and jam them in and there you have it there's it's all elevated off the ground so, guess where the uh, smell is coming from? It smells like something died. <laughs> it's probably dead. All right. So, yeah, this is uh, absolutely amazing. Yeah, we're the only ones here. So, yeah, it was converted. All of Yenga Station, uh, which was one of Australia's largest uh, uh, freehold uh, properties, was all converted into well, it was all um, purchased by the national parks, and it became a national park in. Uh, well, it was last operation here was in two thousand and five. So yeah, then the sheep would come into here, and then this is where they'd shear them. So there's some of the old school, um, like I believe they are Cooper. There you go, Muster model friction gear. There you go. Sunbeam. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, well, I can oh, I can zoom in on that for you. There you go. For those shearing aficionados, that's a Sunbeam. Beautiful, good Aussie brand. And uh, yeah, these are the mechanical ones. I assume they would have electrified them at one point, but. Uh, yeah, anyway, so this is where they sheared them, and then they'd boot them out here. Once they're done, you'd, you'd get paid per you'd get paid per sheep, and once they're uh, naked, you'd get them out there, and then you'd let them go back on the back on the property. So, yeah, this is really cool. There we go. They haven't got the attachments on them, but uh, they would. Um, yeah, they'd like use a spiral thing to come down, and the clippers clip go the shear boys. And this is the rear end. I'm not sure what they do down the rear. Oh, this is where they, yeah, they'd be sorting the wool down here. So they'd be putting them into the giant hoppers. Australia, of course, best wool in the world. And shearing season. There you go. And uh, yeah, this uh, dates from the uh, 1890s, um, 1895. Wow. So yeah, there's some old school photos. And mechanized shearing <laughs> the austin the all new improved austin 7 the world's premier economy car running cost less than <laughs> one deeper mile 50 miles per gallon wow uh, anyway um yeah yanga station is uh kind of big 
It's, uh, yeah, this was what it was like in 1916. Wow, look at them, putting them on a barge to take all the wool out. Anyway, they did more than wool here, that's for sure. 35 to 40, 120, 130 during the shearing season. And uh, freehold, 97,000, uh, 79,000 hectares for a total of uh, 106,000 hectares. I thought it was bigger than that. Anyway, Jackaruin, there you go. This is a poem by the looks of it. And this is where they sort all the wool. I don't know what those little ones are for. They'd stack them in there, would they? And I don't know what that old machine is. I don't know, uh, wool, wool pressing, here you go. Here you go, it's a bit dark in here, sorry. I'm using my shoe phone for this. But yeah, there you go. So they'd press the wool inside these things. No, okay. And yeah, it's just a giant press, I guess. There you go. And still, <laughs> there's the electrics for the shed. <laughs> Don't need much. Just need lights, basically. And uh, and to operate the uh, whatever machinery they had in here is the back of it. There you go. And uh, Yanga, um, the Yanga Lake is, uh, this is huge lakes around here. And the wool bale fit for a camel. <laughs> the grip bale fastener. That was the duck's guts back in the day. Oh, some of this floor is a bit dodgy now, but not sure how old this original flooring is, but there's all info about the wetlands if you're interested. They've done well on their uh, info signs and you can watch uh, videos and stuff like that. There's Mrs. EEV blog. And we are the only ones here on a lazy Sunday. Lower, yeah, we're in the Murrumbidgee uh, region and it's all floodplains and huge um, we're actually staying on a uh, property at the moment on a lake and uh, yeah the bird life is absolutely amazing here it's uh, absolutely phenomenal we wake up in the morning get your pink cockatoos and uh, the beautiful um, birds here of course Australia has the world's most colorful birds absolutely no contest if you think you can beat Australian birds uh, for color and uh, I think you're uh, having a bit of a yarn. Get it? Ha! Anyway, mirror all week. And yeah, this is a giant, like 100 meter long wool shed. It's, a, it's the biggest one I've ever been in. And I'll show you the, let's have a look down here. What do we got? The annual shearing at Yanga took place in February with all the flock sheep being mustered and walked, in some cases over 50 Ks. To this main shed, wow! <laughs> so, geez, you had to muster them a long way. This exhibition attempts to list all the people who worked in Yanga wool shed from 1995 to the last year and in 2005. And there you go. So, there you go. There's some, yeah, people, how many sheep did you shear? 180. Oh, G. Payne was uh, the duck's guts for shearing. Total 1,700 total. Yeah, I do believe you got paid per sheep. So, you know, if you're a lazy bastard, then uh, you wouldn't get much coin. And here you go. Here's the last uh, shearing at Yamba in November 2005. Check it out. They're a happy bunch, aren't they? <laughs> there. There's an Aussie bunch for you. <laughs> what is that? Is that like a mo mohawk thing? What the heck is that? Not sure what that is. But uh, there you go. They were the last ones to shear the shed in 2005. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that look at uh, the Yamba wool shed. And it's quite huge, absolutely enormous. It reminds me of the uh, factory I used to work in. That was 150 metres long, and that was yeah, probably similar length to this. This one's probably, yeah, I reckon it's well over 100 metres, actually. So, it's very impressive. But yeah, this thing would have been packed. Absolutely chocker with sheep. You could run on top of them. 
just like Hoag's did in Crocodile Dundee in the subway, you know. They packed it like sheep. <laughs> I know what I'll do. Climb on top of the sheep. And you'd have your dogs, of course. And so that's really fascinating, huh? Hope you enjoyed that look around. And sorry if the audio and video kind of sucks. It's really dark in here. But yeah, this is a massive, massive property. And then they sold it. Don't know how much they got for it. But they sold it to the Australian government and uh, it all became National Park. Cool, huh? We're the only ones here. Middle of nowhere. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Catch you next time.